Hi guys, Squad here. Welcome back to another episode of Landlord Super, that crazy mad game set in 1980s England. Uh, right, let's have a look at our stats. Bowels 24. Okay, let's have a quick shower. And, okay, job center. New jobs available. I was about to try and do that, but let's get the zip. And a reasonably good aim. There we go. Close the door there. Don't know how you just quickly wash your hands after you've been to the bathroom, but hey, who knows? Right, let's go down the job center, shall we? Find out what's, uh, what's going on down there. Should we? Let's, let's leave that there. Um. Oh. Hang on a minute. I thought I moved all these rocks. And didn't I move these? I thought I moved these rocks and logs with this here shovel. What the? Does that just respawn back? Or am I going completely mad? Okay, the concrete, 604 PSI. I don't understand that. Um, maybe it just resets then. Maybe you just have to like put grass down, otherwise rocks keep coming back. That doesn't make any sense. Let's take the bus and then we've got some energy. Uh, it costs like 10 pence. Or 10p. Or two bob in old money. Yeah, learning about the good old English monetary system now. <laughs> Five pence is a bob, so ten pence is two bob. Yeah, don't ask. Also two shilling, in case you want to know. <laughs> Just, it's crazy. Right, so what's this? I need an experienced ground worker to mix and lay a concrete foundation for a simple patio. House number nine. Um, wait, what? House number nine? Isn't that the one that we kind of robbed the stuff from? I th <laughs> uh, maybe she got some more. There's another one here. Looking for a roof to in a roofer to install tarred wooden shingles. See the scrapyard. Okay, that sounds interesting. Talk to Totter. Yeah. That's all she yeah. says. Hello, so can I help you today? I'm here about the job. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been working yeah, on my yeah, garden yeah, for what seems yeah. to have, but there's just one log job left to do. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah, a cement yeah, mixer? Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, Good. We're yeah, looking for yeah, someone yeah. who could lay a concrete foundation in my back garden. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah we have all yeah, the supplies yeah, already. Yeah, oh, cool. Yeah. What do you think? Something, uh, something you can be interested in? I have all the supplies. Does she, does she have the supplies because she's got more because they were stolen? Or does she have supplies but we nicked them and she's just. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. If we accept the job and she's got the new ones, we're fine. If she, they've been nicked, I got to haul them all the way back. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say no for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, well uh, good luck with that. I, I don't trust it, actually. I don't think she's got new stuff. Let's kind of have a chat with uh, Totter. We know she was robbed, but did she buy more stuff? I'm not convinced. Right, let's have a chat. There we go. All right, what kid? Got any scrap? No, I'm here about the job. All right, man, here's the deal. Local church is in a right old state, but the council has cut funding to the restoration project. Oh, did we nick some wood from the church? Can you believe it? It needs a roof fixing. If you have a hammer, you cannot be trouble finishing it like, yeah, we can do that. Fancy fixing the roof. Uh, why do you want to repair the church? Oh, don't worry, I'm not one of them Bible basher types. I just think it's a shame to lose such a historic building. Besides, it could make a nice community center. What do you reckon? Yeah, go on. We'll do that one. Yeah, I know all the churches, bro. Uh, you should find shingles or wood planks there to use. Good luck. Okay. This is going to be interesting. What are we on? It's 9% energy. Weather's looking okay. If it starts raining, we might have to stop. I don't fancy doing roofing in the rain. Now, if I remember, the church is down the road here. Hang on, why are we here? Let's have a quick look at number nine. I want to see if all that stuff has respawned. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you see, look. If we did, um, unless it spawned in. I would say, well, I wouldn't mind this stuff, though. Hope she won't mind. Let's just put that over here. We'll grab that later. Hope nobody nicks it. Right, let's see what the deal is. 
I can't remember if we actually stole any of this stuff or not. I really can't. Okay, what have we got? Apart from a right mess. Tar timber used on wooden frames. On roof frames can have tiles placed on the tar. Okay. So we put the timber on the... Presumably... Let's have a look. Because it's kind of started one for us here, isn't it? So... We've got tar timber... And we've got shingles, and the shingles stick to the tar. I'm just having a look how far it goes. We need to go up to here, don't we? There's already a beam here. There's no beam on that one. There's no beam on that one. There's a beam on this one. And then I don't know what's going on at the bottom there. The wood wooden wall frame. So does that mean there's a piece there or not? Because I really can't tell. Also, I'm sure the wood should be near the top, and that one, it looks like it's in the wrong place. That's really weird. Can you remove these things? Kind of wondered about just, just taking everything off and doing it again, because, like, it look, like, if they're not in the right place, it looks pretty half-started to me. Let's see if we can... Uh... Hang on, can we get that off somehow? Nope, don't hit it! Wait, that didn't break it. Is that how you remove stuff? Hang on, let's put this down. Can we pick that up? Ah! Ah, uh, ha, ha. Oh, we can pick two at a time. Can we put them down here gently without smashing them? No, of course not. We'll just throw them down the... St yeah, okay. How however, it does look like we can just give them a quick tap like that and then loosen them. And then I'll try to put these there. Okay, okay, I'll, I can work with this. Right, can we get all these off then? How do we uh, hammer, tap? What's that? Show me the instructions! Oh, there you go, you just hold it. Nice. Okay. Right, that's uh, all of them off. So if we click on one of these... How do you do this? So we want to, um, how do I, I can't actually see. I can't even, wait, what? I can't even jump properly. If we put it like, we kind of want one up there, don't we, I think? Because we want to row across the top here. So if you place that down, like there, place left and right to move. Oh, okay. Okay. And what was it? Right click to exit. So if I... Oh man, that... Why does that go vertical? I need to be able to see how far over it is. Oh man, this is... So we have... This is, this is very strange. Like it keeps going vert... Oh! Ah, if you right click... Okay, if you right click... It, it switches 90 degrees. You know what? This is frustrating. I can't actually get to the right hand side of this thing. All right, let's try and get the height right. And then, so we've go for like that. And then we only need it to buff up there enough, don't we? Just to that tile. Where does that go? Is that enough? That looks like it's enough to cover the hole. All right, let's try the next one. So for this one, we kind of want it about there ish. And then we kind of want it to buff up to that tile like that. That's looking okay. Let's try again. So I'm looking like two thirds of the tile is where it would normally kind of sit, I think. So just enough to meet that tile. Actually, that looks like it's sticking over a bit. Doesn't it? That one looks like it's over a bit too much. Does it matter? I don't think it matters if it overhangs slightly, does it? That should be all right. Then this one, we want to be there-ish. And line that up to about there. Okay. Oh, God, I'm falling down. This is such a dodgy thing that we're standing on. 
that one. There ish, looking good. And then I think another piece down here. The... That's okay, Eric. I mean, that top one could do with being a little bit more to the right, I think, maybe. What if we, like, stick it? There you go. All right, let's get that hammered in. So if we go, say, tap. There you go. Tap that in. Lovely. This is quite... Um, I like the choice you get. It's not like a lot of construction games, you just kind of get stuff and then you, you need to find the right, like, predetermined spot to click things into. Whereas with this one, it kind of gives you the flexibility and says, well, there you go, you just put it where you like. <laughs> Which is good and bad. I mean, it's good in a way, but... Because it's fun. It's bad in another way, because, like, if I get this even slightly wrong, I don't know how to measure... I don't know what the game's looking for. Um, can we pick more than one up at a time? Because we could be... Yes, we can. Oh, nice. That is cool, man. All right, so then we just kind of... line the tile up there, I guess. Hmm. Can we fit one more on the end, do you, want, do you think? Oh. Yes. The just about. Blimey. That almost looked like a disaster. How many of these can you hold at once? Blimey. Uh, right. So we want to kind of sit just under the one above it. I mean, in theory, I think you're supposed to go from the bottom up, aren't you? So that the um, the ones above sit on top. But it seems to be, seems to be, sitting underneath of its own accord. I don't, I don't know how harshly this thing's going to measure <laughs> what we're doing here. Worst case scenario, I'll have to take it apart and put it back. I guess. How many we can pick up? Just keep going. There you go. That's the maximum. It's not taking any more. That one under that. It's not a bad job, this. I don't say so myself. I hope we've got enough tiles. I don't fancy having to order some more. He said we've got all the stuff we need. Just depends whether some scallywag nicks some stuff. I wonder if there'll be any any spare left over. <sighs> no, don't get tired now, bro. Come on, we're nearly done here. Wait, what? Notebook updated? We finished? Speak to Totter, I fixed the church roof. What? Dude, we're not anywhere near. There's a gaping. Okay. Okay. If you say so. If you say that's. If you said that's done, then it's done. Have I got enough energy? 5%. I'm going to walk. I'm not going to sprint. Have I got enough energy to get to the bar to have a swift pint so that I don't pass out before I get to Totter? <laughs> if I go to Totter first, I might actually pass out before I can get home. And I'm not sure what happens. I think yeah, we could just pass out here. Who knows? If it's like my summer car, you just wake up in a random place, right? on this is why you're supposed to go for a pint at lunch you see i reckon come on i need to get slightly drunk and get me more energy i'll have a, I'll have a pint of landlords please oh yeah there we go that's better 
Energy 47%. Everything's better after a point. Has he got any update on anything? What do you want? Can you help me out? Do you know what no finds concrete is? No. It's the stuff the outer shell of your house is made of. Or should be made of. I can see some repairs need doing. Not to worry, you have the tools. You have the supplies. I can teach you how to repair a no-finds wall. Okay. How to repair no-finds concrete. First, you need to create a no-finds concrete mixture using a cement mixer. Okay. People will tell you there's a correct ratio for the mix, but I just tend to chuck in a lot of ingredients, and it's fine. Once you've got the no-finds concrete mixed, Take a trowel, load it up, and start adding to a no-finds frame. In case you forget, I'll jot down some essential info on your notebook. Good. Worth also noting that it take a day or so to dry, depending on how wet your mixture is and what the weather's up to. I'm sure it's just going to say sand and cement. You need to mix the following in a cement mixer. Oh, you need to aggregate as well. Because it is literally concrete. I thought, like, rendering... Render, I think you just call it render. I thought render didn't have aggregate in it. Water can be added with a bucket. Just fill, yeah, yeah, and all that. So basically, you tell me everything I need to know, except for the ratios, like the really important thing. I thought we would need a trowel. How much money have we got? 30 quid. Hang on, we need to get paid from trotters. And then we can, how much is a trowel? What time is it? Oh, it's only the afternoon. Yo! Oh, there's our bucket. Actually, there's that the other. That's the storage bucket for paint. Um, trowels. £5.48 for a pointing trowel. Great for brick laying, useful for building walls, kitchen, and bathroom tiles. Interesting. Can we have one of them? Next, combination spanner, great for scaffold. You don't do that yet. Flat screwdriver, I'm not sure what we need the screwdriver for yet. A petrol disc cutter, perfect for cutting bricks and blocks in half. Petrol powered allows you to spend your energy where it counts. Okay. I'm guessing this stuff. I'd like to get some of these later. Paintbrush set, paint cans. We don't know about that yet. Right, can we grab that? Okay, so now we've got even more tools. There's a trowel. Right, let's go and have a chat with the good old Totter. Trotter? What's your name? Totter? Yo! Oh. Are you bonny, lad? I fixed that roof for you. Ah, oh. oh, lovely. That's great news. Oh. Well, I've not got any cash. Oh, come on! I've not got any cash on hand right now, but what about this lovely cassette tape? No, I think I'll take the cash. Ah, Belton, you've already got a cassette player. Yeah, I found it in a van. Here's another man's scrap, here's another man's treasure, like. Totter's mixtape added to your pouch. Dude, I don't want a mixtape, I need cash. Okay, let's see what we got. That's the blank one, isn't it? Put that one in. Cool. So basically, he's just gave us a tape with the same music that's in the intro to the game. <laughs> Feeling slightly robbed. Oh, what's this music? Oh, this one's new. <laughs> oh. I mean, you know. It's entertaining. You know what? I've never actually been this one. It's very, uh... Oh, come on. Well, I can't go that way. Going up. Okay, funky music. <laughs> you got to love indie music. It's like my and car. It's just got, like, really interesting homegrown music to it. Just have a look around the back of here. I like the bass line. Oh, what's this? Four pounds, scrap value. So nothing like super valuable. 
Smash TV. I like that. One sec. Let's nip back to uh, Totter. I can't believe we just fixed the church and all we got was a cassette tape. I just felt absolutely wrong. Part of me is thinking we should have done the job to fix her floor, but then that would have used all the sand, concrete and uh, aggregate, sorry, sand, cement and aggregate that we stole, which would cost more money to replace. But maybe we'll have to do it in the end. £10, that'll do. That'll pay for the trowel. Wonder if you get your own car at some point. that job gone back on the board? It's not, has it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hear about the job. I don't know whether to take that, guys. I really don't know whether to take that job. Maybe that's just going to sit there till we do it. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's get home. Lakeside. Ten pence to go. enough of that um yeah okay so today we've managed to build fix a roof which would be good because at some point we're gonna have to fix this roof but at least we kind of know how the only thing is to get up there we're gonna need some kind of scaffolding or a ladder actually we have a ladder hmm there's the frame in no finds no finds wall frame so that's what it looks like 62 litres out of 100 fill amount. So I'd have to buy a load of wall frame to fix that. I mean, I, th I kind of think the bricks are going to be more important first. And just looking at this, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, geez, man, there's quite a few holes there. We're going to need a lot of bricks just to put all that. But if we get all the bricks done, then I think we can start working on the roof maybe because we know how to do that. I can see some gaps there. I don't know what happens if you get... I presume the ladder lets you get up and then you can walk around but potentially fall off. We kind of need to waterproof it. If we get, get the wall done, get the doors and windows and roof done, then it's actually waterproof at that point. And then we can start thinking about what goes worse. Personally, I don't like the layout, if I'm honest. I mean, this is obviously the, the hallway, but it kind of feels like... That room is just split unnecessarily. Somehow. Maybe there could just be two bedrooms there. And then, I don't know where you put your living room. Maybe like here. And then possibly put your bathroom here. Actually, what does your kitchen go thinking about it? I guess this is going to be a one bed. Unless you knock that through and have like a kitchen diner. But then where does your toilet go? And where does your... Actually, yeah. <sighs> we can't really have them as two bedrooms, not with this as a hall. This kind of has to be the hall, unless we can build new walls. If we can er erect new walls, we could, in theory, like, sacrifice a bit of hall space and have, like, a new toilet here. Um, maybe. Or we kind of, yeah, I don't know. And presumably you can knock these things down and repartition. If, it, if it's got that kind of flexibility, we're good. Um, that, I'm guessing, is a supporting wall. So we can't do an awful lot with that unless you can do beams. I don't think you can do beams. I don't know. There's a lot. I have a lot of questions. I think, you know, I've got to focus on waterproofing this thing. That's the main thing. But I have a lot of questions about what you can do internally in terms of the building structure. And then I also want to know why all this stuff reappeared in my garden. But anyway, I think, as they say, that's it. Hygiene 100%. How does that work? How does that work? Have I not got a single bit dirty fixing a roof? But yeah, that's it, guys, for this episode. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think about the house and internal layout and stuff and what we should do with it. Until next one, take care. Happy building.